Hello guys, so a little bit of an update because I do understand that my previous video about the free premium tank was not entirely understandable. I do apologize about that. What happens is that if you have under 200 battles in your account or if you haven't played a battle, notice not logging in, a battle. If you haven't played a battle in at least 60 days, you can enter a contract. When you enter a contract, you have to complete stages. Basically, you have to be in the top 10, I believe. Let me show you. You have to be in the top 10 and win a battle. You get two points, as, as you can see here. And this is about solo. When you're playing in a platoon, it's a totally different story you progress much faster. As you can see here, it says multiplied by two points in a platoon with a commander. When you cause damage and assisted damage that is higher than your hit point, the hit points of your vehicle, for HPGs three times higher, then you get another two points. So you can get a total of four when you are playing solo. However, if you get any epic medals, like for example... Top Gun, High Caliber, Confederate, Patrol Duty, Steel Wall, Defender, Invader, Scout, Oskins, Lev, Has, whatever, how that's pronounced, Orlix, Dimitrius, Pascucci's, Duelist, Sharploof, Arsonist, Hand of God, Kamikaze. For these, you get 10 points in solo, meaning that you will be getting double when you are platooning. There are missions for the recruit, missions for the commander, okay? When you play a contract and you are playing solo, you get 50% extra credits until you finish the contract, which is amazing, and 50% extra combat experience. So imagine if you combine that by playing a premium tank and on a premium account and if you do that with that would be a total of 50 50 50 that will be well yeah plus 50 percent from the contract plus 50 percent from the premium vehicle and plus 50 percent from the uh premium account wow however if you're playing in a platoon with your commander the guy who invited you you will get 100 percent enter credits 100% extra combat experience, plus if you're playing a premium account and a premium tank, plus 50, plus 50. That's that's crazy. For, steer, for stage 1, all you have to do is play from tiers to 10 and, you know, perform well and be in the top 10 and, you know, the damage, etc, etc. Tiers 5 to 10 is for stage 2. Tiers 6 to 10 for, st for stage 3. Tiers 6 to 10 again for stage 4, 7 to 10 for stage 5, and the last stage from 7 to 10 again. So basically, if you play tier 7 and up, you're good to go. But, as you can see, you can start playing from tier 2, which is awesome. So, let me show you the, um, the rewards. The rewards, as you can see, you get the, all these goodies. You get um, inscriptions, demounting kits, credits, camouflage, days of premium, extra credits, you know, reserves. Or what's this? Uh, exemplary classes. Not that that's too important. At least for me, it's not important. The rewards go higher and higher, the higher the tier. When you finish the contract, the main reward for the first contract that you complete, very important, notice what I'm saying, you can choose either the Tiger 131, the VK 45.03, the T3485M, which is probably the best of them, as uh, according to what people have been telling me in the, in the comments for the previous video, the SU 12244, or the Skoda T40. Now, if you have all the vehicles, you get, I believe, couple of one point something million I can't remember in credits instead however I want you guys to notice something that I'm going to show you on my main account so 
So I was looking on my main account and I casually looked at this and I was like, wow, main reward period 12. A tier 8 premium vehicle of your choice. The VK168.01P, aka the Maurbrecher. A T54 54 first prototype. A T26E5. A T92, the, the American light tank. Or an STA-2. These are all good vehicles, in my opinion. I do not know what happens if you complete this contract. I will complete it, and as soon as possible, I will let you guys know what, what, I mean, what, what's next? Like, wow. Let me check. But no, no, no. I, even if I do, it's not, it's not going to change anything. If I go to my other account, which I've completed the contract, it's still going to say the same thing. So, yeah, yeah, cancel what I was about to say. That's, that's, uh... Anyway, this, uh, this is how you do it. Just let me know. Are you guys interested? I can invite you. I have, um, let's see, I have two recruits empty, as you can see here. So, yeah, no problem. I mean, in the beginning, I invited two of my old, old, not exactly old. I hadn't logged in with those accounts in ages, so I decided to, ah, what the hell, just do it. I completed one of them with one account, and I got the, the vehicle that I showed you. And I still haven't chosen the vehicle. Excuse me. But I have the, the ability to choose it. I will go and choose it now, and uh, I'll just continue the contracts. Now, what I'm curious to find out, and I'm doing this live, I don't know what to expect, is that once I choose the vehicle, will it automatically enter me into the next contract, or do I have to invite myself again? Let me go right there, and I will let you know. And thank you for your patience. Okay, guys, so here I am back in the garage with my other account, which completed the contract. Let's see. Click here to select and receive a premium vehicle for completing the contract with Commander Beholder Guard. Hmm. Um... Okay. Nice. Very nice. Premium days. Universal manual. 250,000 XP. Emblem. Yeah, not that those are for any real use, but whatever. At least not for me. Complete the sixth stage of referral program. And a nice piece by piece style. Hmm. Okay. Select a vehicle. So let's do this right now. Uh, I'm to be honest, I'm between this and this, but uh, do I have to select the vehicle before checking if I can enter another contract? Ah, what the hell? Let's just do it. Why not? There you go. Yep. Contract completed. Hmm. Okay, so how to earn points? Okay, back to contract list. Exit. Uh, let's click this again, maybe. Yeah. I have to invite myself again in order to be able to go to the next level, which includes the tier 8. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's, I guess that's how it works. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you understood this video. I hope you did. And I apologize for the previous one. It wasn't so detailed. This one's more detailed. It goes more into depth. Okay, so catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You guys are awesome. It was very important for us to find the balance between playable physics and realism.